Was crypto muscle? Come to you in our YouTube video. Here we are, nationally renowned and worldwide. And guys, you know where this is at. You are on the Crypto Muscle channels, all right? The channels that I'm on, and it's all about making and taking it, pumping iron and pumping crypto. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Coming to you in another video. Let's talk about Burr Steak. Alright. I like how Burr Steak is becoming. And so that's the reason why I'm doing a, a second video this weekend. I think I'm going to be doing it for the foreseeable future. Because I like what Burr Steak is setting itself up to do. Which is to kind of create this sort of you know, passive income in such a way that we all can uh, take advantage of uh, these great earnings and the, the simplicity of the platform the way it's set up and the way it's um, gaining steam I think uh, this thing is definitely on the up and up so you can see here it's been nine days since the I don't know if you want to call it the rebirth of burst steak because uh, if you weren't originally the original burst steak it, it was set up it was okay um it, it was just set up uh to earn i think on tour it was kind of geared towards lower earnings and whomever was running it at that time this was probably like a couple months ago it wasn't the priority of whomever was running it and kind of just let it fade right and so um, then it got implement. You know, they created some changes on Burr Steak uh, to kind of make it more, I guess you could say, enticing to go into. As they, I think I want to say they changed it because I don't, I don't think it was towards these rates three, four, and five. I think the old Burr Steak was uh, less. I mean, I could be wrong and. I mean, I could pull up my archive and really see. You know, let's do that. Because I do have old burst take videos. And it just seemed like it wasn't the priority at that time. Back in September, no. Uh, was it even here at the end of burst take? Burst take, huh. I just wondered if... Um, yeah, I'm curious, huh? So it was August, September is when it ended. So it was a while ago. I thought it was more recent <laughs> than that. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious now. I wonder if I could pull it up real quick as to, um, I, I want to see if I could pull it up real quick. I I'm curious. Oh, here it goes. What am I doing? There it goes. Staking. So it was back in August. All right, so it was back in August when it first started. Let's take a look. How about that? Real quick, real quick. I want to see how this, the plans were set up. Yeah, so you can see the plans were way different. Yeah, 365 days, 180 days, 90 days, and 30 days. And what you would get return on investment, you can see here. And so, um, it does seem like it wasn't the priority of the person that was running it. So you can see here, 2% weekly, 1.7% weekly, 1.4% weekly, a 1% weekly. So when you look at those rates on the lock staking, and then the flexible staking, I touched on it there, it looks like in that video. Yeah, you can see that. The returns wasn't that great. I mean, weekly. This is 1% weekly, not even daily. So the, when it ended back in, what, September, it ran for about a month. I mean, the, the money they earned wasn't too bad. I mean, 311000 This is at the very beginning. And only forty nine fifty dollars uh, paid out. So, yeah, that was the old one. And so they retooled it and uh, got it back up and going to more appealing plans 
And I think that's what has brought on just in nine days so far, you know, over 131,000 already, 16,000 paid out because the plans are definitely more appealing than what it was back then. So yeah, they kind of let it slip by the wayside and then they ended up um, changing it up for the better and gave it a reboot, you know? And so that's the lock staking, 3% daily, 4%, 5%. And obviously um, the better earnings is if you're committed longer. So two weeks or 30 days, and it's up to you or 21 days, but you can see here. And then uh, flexible staking, 1.5% daily, 2% daily, 3% daily. They each have minimum amounts here. It looks like with lock staking, they don't have a specified limit, you know, limited amount, minimum amount versus flexible staking. Uh, as you can see here, you're locked in until the period is up. Flexible is you can get out any time, but you got to pay a 20% fee. So if you like doing that, you might as well just ride it out right here and just take the, the locked in plans. All right, so with that, uh, they have impressive returns, better than, way better than before. Uh, lie statistics, again, there are nine days, 131,000. Not bad. I think this thing could really take off just based on it's not like what it was for sure. They do have an active telegram group as well, so that's a good thing. Let me see here. They also have a news channel. So yeah, things are looking pretty good though. Being that they have a news channel, active telegram group. So it's good stuff. All right, so um, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so $1,000 in, I've withdrawn 454 so far. And I have a $192 balance. All right. Uh, let's hit the withdraw. Yeah, I don't think this is enough minimum. I mean, I could try it, but I don't think that's enough minimum. It's only like a couple bucks. <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just let that be. It's only a couple bucks. I don't think it's going to do anything. So 190 Withdraw, 990 And then 2FA, uh, let's see, burn stake, a request, might as well do 2FA, okay. So that went through 48 hours, it should be there. Yeah, I mean, this is Bitcoin, I mean, I could try it, but I just don't think it's going to do anything. Uh, was it, 1, 2, 3, 4, zeros and a 5. Sorry, you can't request less than triple zero five. All right, so I have four zeros and a five, but it can't be less than triple zero five. So there you go. No biggie. I mean, it's only a couple bucks. I mean, there you go. So once that comes through, it'll pro it'll put me uh, more than halfway towards that thousand. Um, as it's gonna hit what six forty. Yeah, it's going to hit 640. You know, so it's going to put me more halfway or beyond halfway towards $1,000 that I put into it. And let's take a look at the terms, remaining terms of burst stake I have. And I still got another 20 days to go. I'm on 30 day lock in. I took a full advantage of the 30 day with 5% daily. All right. And. Um, you can see here, yeah, I just did the 5% daily, went from there. I mean, flexible is cool if you need that, but the best way to go is just be locked in because 20% is pretty hefty. And I think that's purposely done 
because uh, one, I mean, you're giving up 20% just to get out. Two, uh, you got to be in there for, I mean, even at 3%, you still got to be in there at least a week. So if you're in there at least a week on a 3% daily, well, shit, might as well just go another week and then you could get out with no fees. If you're at the 1.5% daily, you're going to be in there for at least three weeks. So if you're in at least three weeks, you're only making 1.5% daily. So you could cover that 20% fee. Shit, might as well just go into this one. Three weeks right here, 21 days, make 4% daily. I mean, so to me, it's a, it's a losing proposition to go into a flexible plan reward. But... It's purposely there for those people that wants that flexibility. I, I just don't see why you would do that to yourself, you know, and lose money. So getting started with it, state crypto, you pick your terms, right? So, and then you choose your crypto. Um, there we go. Minimum locked in rewards at $25. Tron, 250 Tron, CBNB, Doge, XRP, Bitcoin, All right? So these are the minimum locked rewards, minimum staking uh, for flexible rewards, I'm sorry. You can see here, $100 for the 1.5, 2,500 on the 2%, and 5,000 for the 3%. And that all kind of trickles down, um, equivalents, right? Equivalent to... Hundred dollars here, uh, twenty-five hundred dollars here, five thousand here, and so um, again, I mean, to me, it's more worthwhile just to be locked in. A lot more easier terms, and I think, again, you know, to me, I this is more for convenience, and you got to pay the price for convenience. But shit, it's not that much better anyway. I might as well just go into locked. So that's my whole thing about it. But you do what you want to do, right? I'm just showing you what I'm doing. And uh, I think Burstick is a, a good platform. So, you know, it's giving itself at least two days to make sure that you get paid in full. And so it's good. I mean, I think uh, it's a nice, to me, it's a nice uh, period of time to make sure and ensure that you get your return back. So that's what we got going on with Burst Ache. So something to look into. Uh, it's a very, very promising program to grow your crypto. And look at that, you could grow your crypto. Oh, let me go back in again. All right, so staking it. And you could put go in with USDT, Bitcoin, Litecoin, ETH. Dash, XRP, Doge, BNB, and Tron. So, your typical cryptos, right? That they usually utilize in these platforms. I don't know how often people actually use Dash, though. I see Dash a lot throughout the years in these platforms. And I just don't know how often they are used. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm curious <laughs> if um, how often... I could just see it barely being utilized. I can see people using more like XRP than anything, than Dash, or using more Doge. Um, but yeah, I mean, TRX, BNB, I think it's typical. ETH, I think ETH is hit and miss because of the gas fees. I could be wrong, but I just think it's hit and miss. Litecoin, same thing, hit and miss. I think that's just more like a a, a you know, a poor man's Bitcoin option. But yeah, these are, to me, the top two, right? Bitcoin or USDT. And man, years ago, I used to always use Bitcoin for um, these programs. And then I gradually shifted towards USDT. So I, I use more USDT than anything these days uh, for these programs. Occasionally, I use Bitcoin. And um, <laughs> very randomly... BNB, Tron, or Litecoin would be the next three options. And then these other ones I really don't use. Uh, but yeah, so check it out. Burstake. All right, very simple platform. Very easy. Links are in the description. Subscribe to everything I got. Stay on top of everything I got going on. 
And other than that, I'll see you in the next one.